what's up what's good what's going on family <clears throat> and so i wanted to jump in and just see whatever spirit wants sag to know at this time so this is going to be for your sagittarius sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house very particular messages here on the manjula awakening for your ninth house guys but even with that being said these are general messages so just take what resonates for you and bless someone else with the rest okay these cards were falling Ooh, sun god wanted to show his face it says come all come down expand into the skies and into the shadows below so i feel like that this is this this is i am recording this on october the 14th and this is eclipse so this is the day of the eclipse in that librian energy so i feel like that there's something significant with that and it's requiring you to um embrace not only the sun, but also use that uh, embracing of the sun to illuminate your shadow side. Hmm. Thank you. Let's see what's going on here. Spirit, this is for Sagittarius. What's going on for Sag? What do you need Sagittarius to know at this time, Spirit? What does Sagittarius need to be made aware of? What does Sagittarius need a friend on at this time? What's going on for my Sagittarius family? Wow. Y'all seen the way that shot out there? Serendipity at the bottom of the deck. Anxious to know what this card is. There's a major change in the wind going on right now. Um, we have Yin. That's the card that shot out over here. Yin. So this is getting in. This is that feminine energy. Receptive energy. Receiving energy. Ooh, a fork in the road. Okay, so I definitely feel like that you're at a major, you got a tough decision ahead of you, right? But with the yin card coming out, I feel like that there's, n okay, so even though you have to make a decision, there is this energy of needing to get in receptive energy, needing to listen to your intuition. Um... There's also this energy of realizing your worth. I don't really, even though you have a decision to make, I don't think it requires action for you to make this decision so much. Yeah, serendipity and deep knowing. Message in a bottle. You're about to receive something and it's going to put you at a major deciding factor. It's faded. It's meant to happen. You've been knowing that this was coming. Before I get the surrender, let me get the lesson. Someone could be born February 13th, or this could be pertaining to um, a Pisces. Something could be significant to the day before Valentine's Day, guys. Lo wow, love. <laughs> Very significant. Um, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. That's the lesson here. And then we have denial at the bottom of the deck. I acknowledge my fears, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So this decision, it, it whatever this crossroads is that you're going to be at, it is going to awaken some sort of fear. But spirit is telling you that the fear that you're feeling, you, you've already like, okay, so you've had a previous experience that gave you the knowledge that you need the awareness that you need in order to make this decision. So don't allow this decision to be made out of fear when you have everything that you need in your tool bag if you're willing to look through it to make the proper decision. It is going to require you to see to see the good, to, to, to see the bright side of what's going on here. What needs to be surrendered here?
blessed. You're, there is a blessing here. Serendip like look what's closing out the deck. Serendipity at the bottom. Blessed at the top. So whatever is going on here. It's fated, it's destiny, it's per, it's in alignment with your Jupiterian energy, and it's bringing in, like, it is, it's a blessing. It is not, it's not whatever you think it is, if it's not good. If you're thinking it's something that's not good, that's not true, okay? Let's see. What is the surrender message here? What is sad you need to surrender at this time, um, as it pertains to the message that we're about to dive into, Spirit? Guys, I hope that these messages are finding you all in good health and in good spirits. Surrender to inner peace. It says, cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within, within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So what I'm getting here, Sagittarius, is if you commit yourself to seeing the good and only focusing on the good, I'm not saying gaslight yourself and ignore any red flags. Y'all know I am not an advocate for that. But if you focus your energy on, on the good things, then I feel like that life is going to begin to flow easier for you. And then you're going to begin to attract people that are in alignment with this newfound commitment that you have committed yourself to is really what I'm surrender to joy absolutely it's going to bring you in someone's going to see you plus look at the way that both of these cards are leaping so whatever this this whatever this fork in the road is for you it is going to require you to take some type of leap of faith and be at peace about it See only the good. Don't focus on what could go wrong. Focus on what could go right. And then I feel like the joyous opportunities are going to come flowing in. You're definitely in. There's definitely something that we're seeing here. Y'all, it is 5.20 in the morning and my stomach is growling. So if you guys hear that, I do apologize. Ooh, six of wands. Two of wands. Eight of swords. Three of wands. Six of pentacles. You know, I'm going to tell you something, Sagittarius. Yeah, there's definitely decisions here. Something to do with sixes as well. Which is all about cooperation, harmony, healing, improvement. So I definitely feel like that a situation here is getting the opportunity to have victory and success here. Like you're able to overcome some challenges and some conflicts. But it's only by focusing, it's only by seeing the good. Um, the opportunity here is the Two of Wands. This particular Two of Wands is labeled the waiting game. But the Two of Wands really does speak about making a plan and actively taking the steps as it pertains to that plan. Now, the Two of Wands does not necessarily have the whole plan planned out. The, the Two of Wands is about getting a game plan together in turn, making sure that you, inner peace, getting yourself internally into this place of uh, renewed a renewed sense of self. That Ace of Wands, that is all about a, a, a passion, a, a, a spark, of a, a brand new spark internally, or, or just some type of new spark, right? So when we're talking about the Two of Wands, it's taking that spark and making plans with that spark because the Ace of Wands only carries potential. So making plans for this potential, at carrying out the plan with this potential and allowing your plan to um, 
grow, to morph as you take active steps towards it, okay? The challenge here is that you're trapped in fear. And I feel like that you're trapped in fear because you don't have everything planned. Like, because you don't know what everything is going to look like once you make this decision here. Um, the way through this is the Three of Wands. N Excuse me, Sag. Now, this particular Three of Wands is called Partnerships and Alliances. This is telling me that you don't have to do this alone. One. Two. The Three of Wands in traditional tarot rows speaks about incoming ships, an incoming opportunity, but it does require patience. What this is telling me here is that the way through this is that there is, you do have an active ally around you to help you settle in it, to set yourself free from these fears that are keeping you stuck from actually taking steps towards something that has the potential to be victorious and successful. Now, this partnership and alliance, it does require you to, um, I don't know, for some reason I'm hearing barter. I don't know. But there's, there's, there's something that must, there's an exchange of something here. Guys, if you're still with me at 11 minutes in, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It does help give your readers some feedback as well as circulate these messages to the other Sagittarians in need. Even the Eight of Swords in the obstacle position, Eights do stand for action. So even the action, taking the action is presenting a challenge. Maybe you keep pushing towards taking some sort of action when you really need to be in this receptive energy. It's like you're taking action and it's not getting you the results that because the actions that you're taking are being fear based. Fear based action is being taken right now. But what's on the other side of this is material and spiritual prosperity. Let's see. Why is the Six of Wands here? Not the Ace of Wands in <laughs> reverse. So I definitely feel like that you're hesitant to take this new um, <clears throat> Nine of Wands. Um, been there, done that. It's, it's, the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. You've been here. You've done this again. You're afraid to take another chance with this situation um, out of fear of it turning out like it did in the past. And so you are, the, the advice here is to choose wisely. But with the Seven of Cups here, it's really telling me that there's a, there's a need to uh, not over romanticize a situation, but also don't find yourself living and like, don't avoid making a choice out of fear. Something is going to be successful here, though, Sagittarius. But I do see that you're stuck and stagnant and not really moving towards this opportunity. Mm -hmm. You're definitely scared. Afraid of being gullible. Afraid you're being walked into a trick is what that is. But the opportunity, you don't have to, like, this isn't something that has to, you can take your time with this, though. This isn't something that you've got to overcommit to it right off the bat, you know, Sag? Before we look at the opportunity, let's look at the challenge here. I keep staring at this tiger. You're not seeing the potential of a situation and therefore you're not um, pouring into it. But there, that, that situation is going to be very lucrative is what I'm feeling. 
Why is the Eight of Swords here trapped in fear? That Two of Wands, Four of Wands, I mean, Two of Wands in the upright, Four of Swords in the reverse, and the Emperor. Um, it's the planning. It is. You're not seeing how taking this small step is going to bring in happiness. You may not even feel like you're ready or prepared to take this step. You're just going to have, there's this energy of fear it and do it anyways. Grab the bull by its balls, by its horn, whatever the saying is. Especially if you want your happiness. Absolutely. Let's look at this three of wands. This is the way through this challenge. I definitely feel like that you're rushing something here. You're not fully think like the plan. You got to get a plan down pat. You can't just take haphazard action and think that it's going to get you into a leadership position. You have to think like a leader. You have to think like a boss. You have to think like something you, you're not used to thinking like, that's for sure. Why the three of wands, spirit? Why the three of wands? the king of swords in the reverse the nine of pentacles and the death card and the three of pentacles in the <laughs> there's someone that is not really in your best interest this person could be advising you this person could be advising you as it pertains to your money your material world your independence but the way through this is I'm going to go ahead and say rely less on this air king of swords energy which is Aquarius Capricorn energy um someone isn't as collaborative as you think they are yeah and we got another kink in the reverse this person that you're trying to collaborate with is the reason why you're oh like this person their morals are just not aligned with you this person is abusing their position in your life especially as it pertains to your independence and stability Could be this could be a Capricorn, could be a Libra, could be a Scorpio, it could be an Aquarius. I do have strong Scorpio here clarifying this. This is the way through it, spirit. Okay, do me one. What is the Nine of Pentacles? Mm -hmm. 
there's a partnership that you must put to an end there because this person isn't giving you the wisest advice. And if anything, I feel like that this person is kind of advising you against taking a leap of faith somewhere that you are needing to take a leap of faith. Um, but I feel like that the advice that you're received, like there is um, some type of income and partnership or an alliance that is coming in. OK, but what? Where you're getting your advice from while you're waiting on this situation to dock, to settle. The advice that you're receiving is actually putting this to an end before it even gets to dock. And that's where, like, because whatever advice you're receiving is causing you to make decisions based out of fear. What's this? Let me get up here to the opportunity before I guess. What's the opportunity here? Why is the two of wands here for that? Two of pentacles, six of pentacles, both in the reverse in the hermit card. That's the Eight of Pentacles. There's definitely a situation that is unworkable that there is a need for you to reflect on in order to move forward in the proper way. Because there is an income in partnership or an alliance, but you first must put an end to someone that is completely abusing their position in your life. You guys may have had a, a, a uh, may have taken a risk with this person but there's some type of material instability this person was unstable in their world and therefore the foundation to the new beginning wasn't stable and that must come to an end because this income and partnership it does work like this could be a virgo that's coming in as well <sighs> You'll see why a situation didn't work out. You will see why a situation didn't work out. Don't go straight to the negatives of it. It's Spirit is asking you to see the good in it. Six of Pentacles, please. Wow, Sagittarius. Wow. So I got the Ace of Pentacles. So I've got the Eight of Swords in the reverse, the Three of Swords in the reverse, and the Nine of Cups. So what this is telling me, you know what I'm saying, is that once you set yourself free and release some sort of pain that prevents you from being optimistic about new opportunities, and you release someone that is completely, that was a risk in the first place, you gave them a chance. They took that chance and they came in and completely abused the position that you gave them in your life. Once you're able to put that to an end, I do feel like that there is a, a partnership that is in alignment with you. This person wants to collaborate with you. They want to work with you. Um, but in order to have this, it this you're only able to have this material and spiritual prosperity once you release the three of swords. You set yourself free from this eight of swords. You um, see the good in the three of like you release the pain and keep the lesson from that previous three of swords. Wish fulfillment is going to come in. I feel like that this situation is going to show you why you couldn't have wish fulfillment in the other situation. Okay. Absolutely. Whew. I am sleepy, Sag. I think I'm going to bed after this. No, who's grown? I thought I was. One of my Sagittarius situations woke me up out of my sleep. So I did a, a late night reading. Go check that out, y'all. laid and tossed in bed and couldn't go to sleep so I came back to the table and now I'm sleepy so I think we didn't finish the storyline up now because I'm sleepy <laughs> let's get the closing message for the Sagittarius Sagittarians that have resonated with this reading spirit 
Thank you. So he has practice self-soothing. That's that surrender to inner peace. You have the power to comfort yourself when you are upset. Place your hand gently over your heart. Send yourself unconditional love and ease, tension, and frustration. And then make peace with uncertainty. You may not know where this is headed, but as long as you get yourself straight on the inside, you're more than capable of handling whatever is on the other side of the next decision that you make, okay? It says, it may take a while to find clarity about a situation. Be patient. Know that invisible healing forces are at work during this phase. Look at the stars. Look up and remember that you are a, that you are but a tiny speck in a large mysterious universe. Let the magic of the scar stars connect you to your own special magic. And then you can handle this. There's a wise saying, you are never given more than you can handle. Tune into your heart to reconnect with your strength. All right, Sagittarius, I absolutely love you. And I hope that this message offered you some guidance on your journey. If this message resonated, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do, moving forward, let's choose peace. Love and light, guys.